Greetings, my friends. This is Carrie Kanya coming to you today from my new healing center in Sedona, Arizona. I'm going to be filming a video tour of the entire center within the next few weeks. But for now, I'm super excited to introduce you all to this brand new series starting today that I'm going to be offering throughout 2021. This series offers personal growth empowerment practices that are aligned with each new moon cycle of each month of the year and we're beginning with this very last lunar cycle of 2020. We're coming into a super empowering time as I speak. We're just a few days away from the last moon cycle of the year which happens on December 14th and as many of us know this new moon cycle is coinciding with a solar eclipse. We have the moon, the sun, and Mercury all happening in the sign of Sagittarius which illuminates awarenesses that enable us to attune and align with our highest timeline and our path of highest fulfillment. So this is an energetic theme that we've been building up to over the course of the past few months and it's all being activated and triggered right now, this month, the last few weeks of December, first few weeks of January 2021. And the energy right now is extremely conducive to us really leaping into decisiveness around what we choose for ourselves in regard to our growth, our path, our expansion as we're coming into 2021. Now, these Sagittarius planets are squaring Neptune. Neptune is a planet that has to do with things connected to spirituality, dreams, creativity, intuition. And my intuition is with Neptune squaring the sun, the moon, and Mercury in Sagittarius, this is saying, yes, expand, but expand in the direction that feels aligned with your highest soul nature, your authenticity as a soul being. This is another energetic theme that we have available to us in this moon cycle. It's really around nourishing your authenticity. We also have Mars coming in and trining these planets that are in Sagittarius, which inspires even more optimism, enthusiasm, and motivation. This is a time where we really can make big leaps forward in regard to our personal growth goals and dreams. These last few weeks of December are a really empowering time to get clear on what you're intending for yourself as far as your New Year's resolutions go or as far as your goals for 2021. Because the solar eclipse that we're having on the new moon is really supercharging the energies of the new moon. And so whatever we intend now is gonna have a tendency to seed, germinate, take root, grow, and flourish over the course of the next six months. So whatever we are intending now grows, blooms, blossoms as we're coming in to 2021. Again, it is a time to get clear on what your intentions are, but it's not the time to try to push or force or control things in particular directions. All we want to do is set our intentions and then use our instincts and our intuition to flow with whatever's showing up for you. Being in the now, being in the moment, in clear awareness around your intentions and goals is a really good use of the energies right now. So the best personal growth empowerment practices that we can do for this particular lunation, this moon cycle, are definitely around clarity of intent. So journaling is always a really good practice. I'm going to recommend the practice that I call empowerment journaling. Empowerment journaling on one level is around writing down what your goals are, 
maybe even writing down what you feel your obstacles to those goals might be or the challenges that might be interfering with those goals, write those down as well. And then part three would be asking yourself, what do I have within my ability to do about navigating through these challenges or obstacles and write that down so that you're making a little bit of an action strategy for yourself in regard to your goals and how to navigate forward through them. And then in the spirit of optimism, in the spirit of gratitude, write down whatever you are perceiving as being signs from the universe that you're being supported in moving forward in the direction of your goals. The December lunar cycle is all about embodying gratitude, being in positive, energetic, emotional states of being will keep us in alignment with a positive, forward-moving flow in our life. Now, this particular moon cycle really is action-packed. We have that grand conjunction happening between Saturn and Jupiter on the winter solstice day, which is December 21st. This also marks the shift of the sun from Sagittarius to Capricorn. So really, this is the beginning of the solar new year because we're moving into increase of sunlight starting with December 21st through the summer solstice. We experience an incrementally increased sunlight in each day, which is all about expansion and growth. So this is a really good time to sort of get ahead of the curve, so to speak, in regard to the calendar new year. And then as we are moving deeper into winter time, let yourself find a very comfortable, cozy balance between nourishing and nurturing yourself on inward holistic levels, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, be creative with it, and always aligning that with what you know your overarching goals and ambitions are for yourself in 2021. So in regard to holistically nourishing and nurturing ourselves, we want to think, again, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Physically can be, you know, things having to do with diet, sleep, exercise, the environment that we live in. Mentally can be practices around self-development, learning, studying, educating yourself, acquiring knowledge. Emotionally can be finding ways to nurture and nourish positive emotional states of being and staying within that, whatever that looks like to you, which sometimes might mean not doing things like overly watching the news right now. And then spiritually speaking, winter time is a really good time to deepen your meditation practice, do journaling around your intuitions, develop your intuition and things like that. So we have all of these energies available to us. I really can't emphasize enough how much of a significant empowering energy we are experiencing in this December lunar cycle, especially with that grand conjunction happening. This is an opportunity for each of us individually to experience our own personal rebirth, our own personal renewal, our own personal renaissance of life. This is a really empowering time to again shift into what feels like that higher timeline, your highest and best goals and dreams or your highest and best ideas of reality. Now is the time to magnetically call that in through having clarity of awareness, mentally speaking, and then blending that with positive emotional states of being, allowing yourself to be guided with your heart through this time. 
Have fun with it. Let me know in the comments how it's going for you. And I will see you in the next video. Blessings, my friends. Namaste.